Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, next level painting. Hitting you up on the literal best of all days. Coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We're doing it again. And I've got a new cool device on my table today called the Painter's Potion. Check them out on Etsy. It's a fun little model holder. I'm very impressed. We're going to be using it for this video, but we're also going to be talking about chaos. You guys must have heard about that new Chain Lord, as I call him, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Black Legion Edition. It's real easy to get one made. All you gotta do is call up Jack of Clubs Painting here on YouTube. And he's also on Patreon. And he's also on Twitch. You call him up and you tell him to make you one and he'll send it to you in the mail. No questions asked. That's how I got mine. So we're gonna be getting this guy ready for my tournament tomorrow. You heard it here tomorrow. If you wait to the last minute, it only takes a minute. So we're gonna start the show off by painting him with burnt umber over black. We're gonna be doing an OG red workup gangster edition. All right, I love this dude, he's chaos. Totally unique, 100% converted. I think it's some pop goes the monkey bits went into making this guy. He's got the new relic chain sword, a straight up chain sword. He's got the new warlord trait. He's got a jump pack. And we are going to be starting off by just giving him a nice base coat of dark umber. We're using the Pro Acryl line from Monument and Creature Caster. We're going to be pivoting to some dirty paint water marriage technique here. We're going to be mixing what was left in the pot of the brown with some of this dark red. We're going to get a nice blend going. We're going to thin it down and we're going to blast another coat on. This is one of the easiest, simplest tricks to getting your reds popping for no headache whatsoever. The reason we're painting him red, as you might have guessed, is that we marked our guy Corn for that sweet fight twice stratagem. Love it. So we're going to be hitting it from the top down, Zenthiel, getting him ready. We're going to get all the trim done. Every, we're done. We're doing it all. We're going to get this guy tabletop ready right meow. Looking good. It's a solid start. Red is popping. This is Bold Pyro Red from Pro Acryl. This is one of the reddest reds in the game today possibly the reddest. We're gonna do some final highlights top down. We want him to be super red, okay? We don't want to be too transitioning. We want this dude to be corn. We want to channel like a gangster gladiator, world eater, berserker, like fanatic. We're going to town here, having a blast. Airbrush makes everything easy. Just a couple final spritzes here, reinforce it. Make it its absolute reddest. Keep it bright. Keep it fantastic. All right. We're going to pivot to some dark gray blue. We're going to throw some of this in the pot. We're going to mix in some black. Now, I ran out of cold black. I just got my order in from these guys today. So we're using some hobo black. Unnamed. We're going to keep this thing going with a couple of simple transitions on the backpack. I'm going to keep the backpack black. Kind of... Amorphous, you don't know what Legion he is. It's Black Legion, but I'm doing a lot of my new Chaos stuff with kind of just blacks and reds, so I can just slide them in here, slide them out there, where it bears. Maybe Black Legion. Hey, you might have wondered why I'm rolling dice. We're gonna be doing a tactics video right in the middle. The first roll was literally rolling a three up for a prayer. The second roll was rolling two, a six on two dice to get Diabolic Strength off. And this is his attacks against the Night Titan with all the combos and Veterans of the Long War. Check and look at this. All those fours equal two mortal wounds in addition to all normal damage. Ten wounds. Now he gets to roll some sixes. He takes an additional eight wounds. Eighteen wounds. Bonus chain sword attack. Another mortal wound. Nineteen wounds. Does he fail his three up save? Twenty wounds. My man could do twenty wounds on an Imperial Night Titan. I just wanted to get that clear with everyone. If you're playing Chaos and you're not using the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you might need to take a second look at this new fresh 93 point unit. You can slide right in to your Chaos armies. We're just banging it out. We're using the dark gray blue. We're going to start painting all the Under Armour stuff with this. We're not going to go too crazy here. Later we'll take them to the absolute next level, but we're trying to get some solid cool colors to go right up against those reds. We're going to use rich gold cutting all that corn trim we'll hit some washes on it we'll do some highlights at a later date but we need to get this guy to the tournament tomorrow literally getting in the car driving up to san diego boom quick lines keep it smooth light brush pressure all day every day move the model move the model holder as often as you can to reach those crevices boom 
We're actually having a pretty fun time with this uh, painter's potion. I like the shape of it. Pretty interesting little piece here. We're gonna cut in some trim over the jump pack. Give it that Black Legion style all day, or day. It's got some cool little add-on pieces. There's a prolific amount of green stuffing that went into the creation of this model and along with some kit bashing. Now I'm gonna use one of my new favorite colors, light bronze from Pro Krill. I'm gonna use that as a silver substitute, like an old school tin bits. It's beautiful. We're gonna paint all the pseudo silver stuff with this light bronze and it's gonna look fantastic. Real good warm silver almost. It's uh, got decent coverage. We're gonna do two thin coats to preserve all the details, do some of the uh, spikes that are shooting out of his, his shoulders. Anything we, 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 we choose to create a little bit, just a tiny bit more contrast. Hey, look, we're also going to do the leather wraps on everything. Random tan, first one I grabbed off my desk. It don't matter. We'll introduce a nice brown wash at some other point. Boom, let's hit that crazy ass light browns all over these cool little, you know, wings that Jack of Close Painting put on the backpack for me. Absolutely loving how this thing is coming together. Very smooth, very well created, very well crafted conversion. Very subtle in many ways, but he is totally WYSIWYG, which I love. There he is. There's his backpack. Loving this. So now let's talk about the final phase of this operation. Get him on a base. I just grabbed a random base, glued him to it, and we're going to be just dipping into our old Vallejo earth texture. And we're going to just mount it up on the base, give him an actual dirt texture to his base. I'm just going to use this old busted uh, paintbrush that I have, doing it in real time. We're going to get it on his base. Careful not to get it too much on his feet, but it's okay if it piles up a little bit around his feet as he's stepping in the mud. That's cool. I even like to put some on the bottom of a shoe if one of the feet is lifting up. We're going to get a good little pile going, then we're going to just start manipulating it. Don't worry, you can actually wipe it off the edges pretty easily just with your thumb. If it spills over pretty easy I like to use other tools on my desk to manipulate it get interesting shapes in the mud make it look a little bit more abstract maybe more alien a couple random swirls no big deal there he is my man is ready for a tournament tomorrow anyway guys thanks for watching this video and play on players now real quick if you guys don't know, I have a Patreon page. It's my personal crowdfunding page. It's been going on for years. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting me. I literally couldn't do it without you. I can't even keep the lights on for one month without you guys. We have a new tier we just rolled out with. It's only $10. It unlocks voting. You can vote on the colors we use, the models we paint, and more. 